Being 15 with parents willing to spend thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds to support your likely to fail race career is thankfully no longer a requirement if you want to drive a Formula 3 car. A virtual Formula 3 car by RSR that is, because unfortunately the real one will still cost you two arms, a leg, a kidney and a cornea. All body parts that most would agree are quite important when it comes to driving a race car. Without further ado, we find ourselves at the roller coaster sand dune track, otherwise known as Zandvoort, along with a grid of half inebriated, ready for Christmas already, a set of Corsa AI drivers. We get on the power, light up the rears, and everything stays nice and stable. The AI going off for the turkey there, but they can't actually get into the pits for the Christmas dinner, so uh, they're going to have to abandon that. And uh, we just pile on through the middle, having a little chuckle as to what they're doing. The AI uh, generally in a set of course are a bit slow on the opening laps and then you get a sort of cluster of drivers at the front that can actually drive at a decent pace. So we're just going to try and work our way through the slow pokes here, up the inside. The tyres are a little bit cold so the car a little bit squirrely but it's really, really progressive and I think that's the, that's the key thing with this car. Everything about it is, is nice and progressive, nothing's going to really catch you off guard unless you uh, downshift ridiculously uh, quickly or take too much liberty with the curbing. Now the uh, the car is really impressive in terms of the amount of detail that RSR have put into it. They've actually worked side by side with an F3 team to make sure that things like setup changes uh, affect the aero as it should do despite the fact that AC doesn't fully simulate certain aspects of aero. Um, tyre wear and degradation all those aspects have been implemented in a way to try and get it as realistic as possible the cockpit details you can see look i mean just look at the steering wheel bosh need i say more i mean any steering wheel with bosh written on it makes me think of power drills but also lets you know that it's a, it's a high quality steering wheel the uh, all the uh, aspects of the cockpit all the buttons all the dials the little delara sticker just the little details that unfortunately on a 2D monitor don't quite have the impact as a, as a VR headset but you know we'll get to that soon. Uh, absolutely mind-boggling attention to detail so uh, again fantastic job there. The force feedback really good communicates the understeer oversteer self-aligning pretty much everything you need from the uh, from force feedback in a simulated car. The only thing lacking with the force feedback I'd say is that since 1.3, I don't think this is an issue with the car, but maybe with AC, since 1.3, it's a lot harder to have a granular feel as to how much brake you can apply before you start locking the wheels up. Now, you can kind of get around that a little bit by uh, turning up the skid volume sound and uh, tweaking the uh, Fanatec V2 uh, brake pedal to vibrate at different times, but really, it'd be nice if AC gets that back. Fortunately, though, to counter that with this car, when you do approach the limit, it starts to uh, pivot or rotate on its on its axis, so you can know that you're on the limit just from how the car's behaving visually. So, though not perfect, uh, as I generally like to be able to feel before I go over the limit, you can kind of get around it and it's not too bad. Moving on to the sound, and again, RSR have done an absolutely fantastic job. Not only is the engine noise really nice and deep, and communicative of the RPM that you're currently in, allowing you to respond to it with your driving, but there's also that nice little goldfish blobble as you go through certain gears, which uh, often is missing with certain simulated cars. So again, it's just that little bit extra attention to detail that helps draw you into the car and makes a mod stand out from other mods. So all in all, you need to download this car. This, this has to be a car that you need in the game. Kunos should uh, put this in as base content like they did with the uh, AC Cobra. And well, I'm going to have to keep my fingers crossed and hope that more public servers run this car because really that's where this car's at home. Side by side, close, door to door, rather cockpit to cockpit, a fist to helmet racing. I think that's, uh, that's basically what this vehicle is for. And uh, though you can get that with the AI, it's just not the same as driving against real people. But download this car. I'll put a link to it in the video description. I think the link will take you to Race Department. Of course, Race Department, a fantastic website for simulator content, mods, and news. Don't forget to also grab the skin pack they've done. They've got just about every skin under the sun, so you can have the grid looking nice and fancy and colourful, like the Serengeti during mating season. That's what you want, so get that installed. And, as I lose my voice, make sure you click the subscribe button, 
like the video and I will see you in the next video that we do. Thanks for watching. Good job, RSR. Goodbye.